Hello everyone, and welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about what I feel to be the strengths and weaknesses of the famous and infamous Stephanie Myers. Took notes here. Anyway, um, probably wondering, like, <clears throat> why I'm talking about this, but, um, I figured, you know, there has to be, like, some reason why she's so, you know, world, or at least successful in this country, and, you know, simultaneously kind of so disliked by so many people. And I could just go the cheap route and just go, oh, geez, they're just a bunch of stupid teenage girls that are her fans, and, you know, they're, you know, just dumb and stuff like that. But there has to be at least a little bit something beyond that. I mean, I guess I could say that's partly the case, but um, it has to be something else. And i just like to say what I feel to be the, you know, <clears throat> strengths, weaknesses, what my thoughts are on overall. I mean, you don't get, um, even if if she was really as bad as, I mean, she has to have some good stuff, otherwise, um, even then, that still wouldn't really justify, you know, getting, like, so many, like, a movie based on almost every book. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to get started. Um, first, strengths. And what I feel to be her big strength <clears throat> is good ideas and interesting settings. I mean, <clears throat> you know, we've all seen the, um, you know, vampires and stories. We've seen the stories of girls falling in love with vampires. And we've all seen love triangles. And we've all seen the vampire versus werewolf thing. And then <clears throat> Miss Myers says, hey, let's, you know, mix them, put them all together and see what turns out. And I think that that, that looks, sounds like, like a real interesting idea. And it kind of shows, like, if I were to just describe some, some of the ideas that appear in this, you know, like, um, well, let's see, like, you know, book one, um, uh, Girl falls in love with vampire. We've seen it, but, you know, still doesn't mean we can't make up, you know, new stuff, you know, and so forth. Then in book two, the vampire dumps the girl, and she gets the rebound guy, which is, who also happens to be a werewolf, and that's, that's interesting. That's an interesting idea for a sequel. <clears throat> for Plus, it gives us the whole, uh, vampire versus werewolf thing again, except this time they're fighting for somebody instead of just having some random excuse for fighting each other. Or, you know, they're actually fighting to get for the heart of somebody else, and that's kind of cool. Then there's uh, Eclipse, book three, which is supposed to be like the overall um, conclusion to the whole love triangle thing. And then finally, Eclipse, which is, uh, <clears throat> you know, the whole, um, like, the aftermath, you know, the vampire and the human get married, and they have, the, like, this half-human, half-vampire person, and they're having the whole, um, the, the shadow government Vulturi guys have a problem with this because... You know, if there's like this, if they have a vampire child immortal running around, then they're going to cause all sorts of havoc, probably wipe out a city during a temper tantrum, you know. <clears throat> and we have the, thus we have the conflict of that. And, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, so you'd, you'd think like the way that I've, uh, and then of course there's the host, and I already talked about all the, stuff that I found really neat and interesting about that. And, um, you know, you'd think, like, the way that I've been describing the the books that she's been creating, you'd think that they'd sound, like, downright awesome, like, almost almost on par with, maybe not Deathstalker, but, um, I don't know, um, what other stuff? Um, maybe Dune-ish? No, nah, not Dune, but, um, Maybe in terms of, like, quality or and how interesting, like, a lot of the stuff is. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, like, the way I've described But then, of course, we get to the, her biggest weakness. 
And it's a biggie, which is, of course, her stories suck. You know, I mean, not saying that she can't come up with good stories, because she can. We even hear some short, interesting stories in the books and movies, you know. In the book, there's, um, like I said, in, tw in the... the um, <clears throat> And the host, like, Wanda's describing the different worlds that her people's been to. And, um, I think there's in, uh, clips, there's, like, this scene of, um, one of the Colons who's, like, in a Civil War uniform <coughs> with the Union. And, um, uh, <coughs> yeah. But then it can, but of course, we gotta focus on that whole, uh, love triangle thing, you know? And it always just feels like, I guess you could say it's mostly not my thing because I'm just not in, but I was just going to say my opinions on the whole love triangle thing is that I thought the whole point was uh, have like a two girls fighting over a guy or two guys fighting over a girl and the two girls or guys would have like really wildly different personalities but you know, still, like, cool in their own way, and then the whole drama of, um, and, you know, us, the people, wondering, like, oh, who's, who's, who's he or she gonna choose? Who's gonna walk away brokenhearted? I sure hope it's not the, the team I'm on, not the guy or girl that I'm rooting for that walks away brokenhearted. Oh, so suspenseful. And, you know, we, we all know how it end, both love triangles end, you know, with in these stories with basically cop outs, you know, with the Twilight, it was the Renezme thing, which I'm not going to get into talking about how messed up that is. There are so many other people have already got into that. And then there's the host with the blank slate body, which, you know, um, <clears throat> I still think is kind of messed up in its own way. I mean, this random little girl is possessed and. No, we don't know really how long the hosts have been there, but I think it was a while. And then this lady who's, like, just recently freed, and, you know, some other guy's like, oh, you know, let's just assume that the, that she's a blank slate, not that there's maybe anything more complicated, like maybe there, there, maybe there is something in there, but, you know, fuck it. Like, let's just throw this sole host person in there, and boom, you know. Everyone's happy, everyone gets a loved one, but the whole thing kind of, you know, the whole love triangle just feels pointless, tedious, you know. <clears throat> and yeah. Anyway, um. Anyway, um. <clears throat> and, uh, that, that was, that's, anyway, like I said, you know, the good ideas and interesting settings that, you know, you first see in the trailers or descriptions, then, you know, it kind of hooks you in, pulls you in, and that's kind of how, sh and she gets all her money, all the money is, you know, given in May, because, yeah, and then, of course, after you find, after you've given her the money, after you've paid for your tickets and the books and the DVD, then suddenly... You know, like, hey, this, this sucks, you know. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, anyway, um, it's also, I guess you could say partly, while well, Michael Bay is so great, because, you know, cool special effects in the trailer draws you in, and a lot of people, but yeah, anyway, um, a lot of directors, anyway, but anyway, um, assuming that, um, the jillion to one odds are that Stephanie Meyer sees this video and assuming that she's actually staying through and watching my crap and not going like, what? How dare this uppity little bastard trash my books and you know, how dare she, uh, how dare he you know, like I have so many books based with movies what the hell has he done? Good point. Anyway, but I'd, I'd like to offer some like my own suggestions, you know, for future book ideas, it would be, um, <clears throat> or, like, future ideas, anyways, it ain't, but, uh, anyway, um, first, just put the love triangles, unless you're 
first suggestion, quit with the love triangles unless there's you're going to have like somebody walk away sad or dead or something like that, then, you know, don't bother. It just feels pointless. And um, I would suggest, considering how much I think that the worlds that, you know, your stories take place in, I would suggest playing up that strength, you know. Don't have it take place on this world. Have, like, create an entirely original world. You know, like maybe a fantasy setting with the uh, whole original style kingdoms with the uh, wizards and elves and, you know, all that other fantasy stuff. And, you know, that I think that would be kind of interesting. Or, or in the case of, um, or maybe even a space opera type deal, like... I've already talked about how interesting I thought all of the different worlds that, um, like the one with the three-headed spider people that build airship, that build spaceships, the, the singing world with the bats, you know, this thing like, but that, that sounds like really interesting. It sure would be nice to go there and you could make a book where we actually do have the characters go to worlds like that instead of just hearing them being described to us. <clears throat> As for the story, I'd probably suggest maybe going out with like the root of, uh, say, Star Wars, I guess. You know, <clears throat> you know, I'd say, um, like, before anybody starts giving me negative stuff, um, I'd say, like, really the episode four is a pretty simple story, you know. You know, hero goes on journey, saves the day, and everything was nice and simple, and really, even if you think about it, the Luke Skywalker was actually just kind of a bland nobody in that, what, in that movie, but then as time went on with the sequels, then we got a little more complicated stuff, and it would, everything would just slowly, everything would build up, and, you know, adding more details to the world of the place where it took place or the universe I should say or um, uh, yeah anyway um, or maybe even I dare I say something like The Hobbit you know once again just hero goes on journey and I don't know helps dwarves you know get back home and sl helps slay a dragon or whatever yeah. <clears throat> anyway, um, I also have um, some other ideas that I have for the possibility of someday writing my own book, because I've actually been throwing around the idea for a while, but I just never gotten around to it. But maybe I should try harder and give it a shot, because I would always just make up some kind of excuse and yeah, I think I should cut it out, and yeah, anyway, uh, till next time, and, um, well, actually, next time I'm going to be talking about, um, yeah, here we go. Oh, yeah, I've got another review to do. Anyway, um, till next video, see you later, and have a nice day.